I want to show you how to own the perfect business. This is how you're going to know that you're in the right place. Do you invest in real estate or own a business? Maybe you're just looking to start up or buy a business, or maybe you simply are just dreaming of owning your own business one day. If you are, then what I'm about to share with you is absolutely critical to your success. You see, this all starts with a quest that I've been on to build the perfect business. And while I was on this quest, I was able to solve the problem of why businesses fail. Americans are struggling with the rising cost of everyday items. The peak is nowhere in sight. I used to have savings. I don't have it anymore. Turning to credit to get by. Home prices are shattering records. I discovered that there's eight things that are actively trying to kill your business every single day. And surprisingly, income is not one of them. Okay, check this out. 10% of all businesses fail in the first year, 30% by year two, and 50% by year five, 70% by year 10, and 99.9% .9 of all businesses fail before they reach 100. No matter how good of an idea they have or how solid of a business plan that they think they have. In fact, there is only one company in America that's over 400 years old, the Shirley Plantation. Look at what I found. Every single one of these companies failed for not one single reason, but it's a combination of these eight reasons slowly killing them. Like they're being given a small amount of poison every single day. And while business owners are focused on income and how to generate more of it, they're not focused on the eight things actively poisoning their business every single day. But what if you had the perfect business, that 0.1% business? that was immune to this poison that's being injected into the veins of these companies and gave you a 99.9% .9 chance of success. But what would the perfect business even look like? Well, after my 30 years of being a professional, I think you would agree with me it would look something like this. A business with no products or services, no employees, no customers to deal with, no supply chains and no inventory to manage. Just a company that produces assets and continues to grow over time that you could manage from your phone from anywhere in the world. And if anything ever happened to me, the company would be paid even more money to your family so that the business could grow in perpetuity. A company that would be a legacy. I think you would agree that you might want to own a company like that. Okay, check this out. One of the eight poisons that cause all businesses to fail is that they produce a product or a service. You see, products and services fail over time due to customer preferences changing and technology making them obsolete. Commodities are the only thing that people need given any amount of time. Wheat was domesticated 10,000 years ago, corn 9,000 years ago, and oil was discovered in 600 BC and gold has been the store of wealth since 700 BC. Even a good idea can be poisonous to a business's success. Look at the light bulb. Arguably one of the best inventions in the 20th century, it allowed humanity to extend productivity into the night, uplifting people all across the world. Thomas Edison Inc. was started in 1896, but yet when you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, you don't buy a light bulb from Thomas Edison, Inc. A good idea was not good enough to save one of the best ideas of the 20th century. But what if you had the perfect company and didn't sell a product or a service, but instead had machines that produced a commodity at half the price that that commodity was traded for on the open market, generating profits measured in X's not percentages, because the price of that commodity continued to go up due to inflation. What if that commodity outperformed every product and service and even the newest tech on the market? But what if this perfect company also owned an asset that was not only a store of value that kept up with inflation, but generated income? And the income that that asset produces pays the expenses used by the machines that produce the commodity, further increasing the profitability of the commodity production to generate even more profits. 
to buy more income producing machines and the profits from those machines purchased more income producing assets to build a company that fuels its own growth in perpetuity. My name is Justin Walton. I'm co-founder of a company called Yields. And we build turnkey fully operational companies producing the highest performing commodity in the world to own income producing assets to fuel their own growth so that these foundational companies can own other product and service companies that can be sold off in the event customer preferences change or technology makes them obsolete and receive the proceeds from the sale of those companies up to $10 million tax free. I think you might want to hear how we build a perpetual growth legacy company to solve the problem of why businesses fail. Bitcoin is the highest performing asset in the world. Going back to 2013, the number one asset, the number one performing asset, Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Uh, how much? How about 315? thousand percent 315 thousand percent bitcoin is over a trillion dollar asset just in front of the commodity of silver bitcoin is a commodity a commodity that can be produced bitcoin's adoption is happening faster than the adoption rate of the internet it's not a matter of if you will adopt bitcoin it's simply a matter of when real estate is a $330 trillion asset with an average return of 6 to 8% for residential investors and 10 to 12% for commercial investors. But the true power of real estate is not in the returns. The power of real estate is that it's the largest store of value in the world, outpacing inflation, and one of the few assets in the world that can produce income. You see, we build companies that produce Bitcoin at half the price that it's actively being traded on the open market, the profitability of that company produces the leverage needed to own income producing real estate. The income from the real estate pays for the expenses to produce the Bitcoin, to purchase more machines producing the commodity of Bitcoin. These additional machines produce the added liquidity and leverage to purchase additional real estate assets that fund even more Bitcoin production. This helps fund a specially designed life insurance policy that can be leveraged to buy more Bitcoin machines, to pay back the leverage in the insurance that can then be re-leveraged to purchase even more income producing properties, to fund even more Bitcoin production. And by the way, these companies that we produce, they have no products or services, they have no employees, they have no customers to deal with and no supply chains, no inventory to manage, just a company that produces assets and continues to grow over time that you can manage from your phone anywhere in the world. And didn't we say, that kind of already sounds like the perfect company. So if you would like to see what a fully functional, operational Bitcoin production company producing Bitcoin every single day looks like, and I think you might also be interested in seeing how we combined a $40 million income producing real estate asset with Bitcoin production. Remember how I said that there was one company still in existence that's over 400 years old, the Shirley Plantation? See, it exists to this day because they produced a commodity to hold on to real estate. Remember, you can't just go out and buy a light bulb from Thomas Edison Inc., but you can buy the commodity of electricity from Edison International who holds other companies that produce good ideas that can be sold off when technology makes those ideas obsolete. You see, I didn't invent the perfect company. I'm just the one who builds them. Just to be clear of what this is, you don't need to learn how to build something from scratch. We've already done it. This is not an online course in how to do something. We have companies already up and running right now and are continuing to build more and we can accommodate from $10,000 to $10 million. This is not a 90-day transformation type of thing. This is you 
actively taking over the reins of an existing company that's actually producing Bitcoin with profits measured in X's, not percentages. You don't need to learn something that we know or try to implement something that we taught you. We build these companies with everything that we know. You don't need to wonder if this is something that works. They are actually working right now and are already profitable. The minute you're ready to be handed the keys, the assets and the daily profits simply get redirected to you. You don't even need to have a piece of real estate yet, but if you do, that works too. We would love to show you an active company actively producing Bitcoin and how you can get on the waiting list. But the first thing that we need to do is make sure that the perfect company is perfect for you. And it all starts with a cup of coffee in the first of our three assessments. The first one we call the coffee assessment. And this is where we give you all the information so that you can see if the perfect company is the perfect fit for you. So please click the link and take the first step in owning the perfect company.